Hey guys, I'm Dog God Frogwog. It's a new month, and you know we don't start one without a new game. Crypto Spells has just launched their pre sale and beta. They are the flagship game for the My Crypto Heroes Plus developer support program. So you'll notice that they use a lot of the same systems as My Crypto Heroes. In fact, the assets in this game will even be usable as extensions in My Crypto Heroes. So that being said, let's take a look under the hood of Crypto Spells. Let's see what's going on. So when you first start off a match, players can choose from five different leaders. There's red, blue, green, white, or black. After you choose a leader, you will also choose their special ability. Red, Fault Gold, can deal two damage to an enemy for one, or deal six damage to an enemy for four. Blue, Shayla, can draw two cards for two, or fill your hands with magic bottles for six. Green is Alberic. He can give a friendly unit plus two plus two for one, or double the attack and health of all units for five. White is Och. She can summon two Tinker Bells, which are O2 units with guard, for one, or she can heal all friendly units by eight health for three. Black is the Lich, and he has a two cost card, which deals negative three, negative three to an enemy unit. Or for 13, he can deal damage to the enemy leader equal to the number of cards in the graveyard. When the match starts off, it's important that you um, have some high HP units. Two twos, two threes are very strong in the beginning of the game. Um, now you're gonna have problems with that when you only have the starter bronze units, they're pretty weak. So it's gonna take until like at least level 50, 80 until you really feel like you have a decent deck. Um, so the way to get around that is just play a bunch. It doesn't matter if you lose because you'll still get 40% of the points. So after a couple days, you'll pretty much have everything you need. If you get lucky and you get a couple silver cards earlier, they can actually go on chain. So you'll be able to sell those when they get to open sea support in July. And they're a lot stronger than the bronze cards, so that'll give you an advantage. But if you do use silver cards, you don't get as many points. There is a multiplier for having bronze only. Um, and definitely take a look at what the leader's win rates are because that will also affect how many points you get. Um, so that being said, you just want to reduce their health down to zero. You trade back and forth. You get a good lineup. It's pretty simple. If you played some trading card games, there's nothing there you haven't seen. After you win your match, the first three each day are bonus points and you're going to take those bonus points over here to where it says card. Click on that. Click on mining. And bam. You can mine any card in the game at the moment, except for the golds and the limited legends. In order to get those, you're gonna have to click on the market and check out the shop here. Now, as I said, they are limited. There's only about two days left right now. Um, so if you wanna get these cards, you're gonna have to act fast. They are pretty powerful. Most of the time, if somebody drops this card against your bronze or semi-silver deck, you're pretty much just beat. They are coming out with some tournaments soon. You'll have to follow the Discord for that. The only problem with Crypto Spells is it is primarily a Japanese game. A lot of the events aren't properly translated for English right off the bat, so you will have to follow the Discord pretty heavily if you play the game. Um, normally, if you catch the admins right away, they can uh, toss out a little bit of extra translation or explanation for you. That being said, click the link below. You'll get 20 free packs. Take those into card. Click mining. Hope you get a silver. I'll see you on the battlefield.